explain the automobile chassis. We know that automobile parts can be broadly categorized into six components. Power unit, transmission system, basic structure, controls, auxiliaries and superstructure where the basic structure comprises mainly of frame, suspension system, axles and wheels and the controls mainly comprise of braking system and steering system. Out of these, power unit and transmission system are collectively known as the power plant of the automobile. Whereas the basic structure and controls are collectively known as running gear. We can see that this power plant and running gear combined to form a framework consisting of all the units required to propel the vehicle and to control it. This framework is known as automobile chassis. Thus, automobile chassis is defined as the internal framework which consists of a frame supporting the vehicle and all the major units responsible for propelling and controlling of the vehicle. Now, on the basis of control, chassis can be classified into three types. Conventional chassis. In these type of chassis, the engine is fitted in front of the driver's cabin, making the driver sit quite far off the front axle. Due to this, the driver isn't able to see the road just in front of the front tires. Also, here the portion of chassis where engine is fitted can't be utilized for carrying passengers or goods. Semi-forward chassis. In this type of chassis, the engine is fitted in such a way that half of it is inside the driver's cabin and the remaining half is in the front of the driver's cabin. Here, the portion of chassis where engine is inside the driver's cabin is utilized for carrying passengers or goods. Full forward chassis. In this type of chassis, complete engine is mounted inside the driver's cabin. Here, the driver seats just above the front wheels and is able to see the road just in front of front tires. Also, here the space for carrying passengers or goods increases. This type of chassis is also known as bus chassis. The related term is 